There were a lot of heavy-hitting earthquakes in 2019, such as the powerful 7.3 magnitude earthquake that hit North Maluku, Indonesia, or the massive 8.0 earthquake that hit Laredo, Peru on May 26, 2019. But a quake's destructive power depends not only on its strength, but also how deep the quake is and how far away you are from its epicenter. Are earthquakes becoming more frequent and also more powerful? World scientists have been looking at the data, and we'll tell you what they've said. We know that earthquakes can happen at any time without any warning. And on November 26, 2019 at 4 a.m., a 6.4 magnitude earthquake hit northwestern Albania. The epicenter was 7.5 miles west-southwest of Mamuras. The tremor lasted 30 seconds and shook the capital Tirana, and the shock could be felt in neighboring Montenegro, Italy, and North Macedonia. It was the most powerful earthquake in the country in the last 40 years. The quake caused most devastation in a place called Thumane. Entire buildings collapsed and left people trapped under the rubble. Just three hours after the main tremor, a strong aftershock hit the city. Since then, there have been more than 500 aftershocks, and some of those have been a magnitude of 5.0, rocking buildings and terrifying residents who think that another bigger one could strike at any moment. Most of the people living in old apartment buildings have had to be evacuated and find other places to go. There are some 4,000 rescue workers, including paramedics and military police, that are involved in the search and rescue. The interesting thing is that several smaller tremors were felt and recorded before the larger earthquake hit, and many people were already awake and afraid. But Albania may have had a bigger warning that something was coming. A magnitude 5.8 earthquake shook Albania on September 21st, which damaged 500 houses and completely destroyed some of them. Buildings literally crumbled, and big pieces of wall and bricks crushed cars like empty soda cans. And while we're talking about magnitude numbers, a 6.4 quake is about seven times more powerful than a 5.8. Huge cracks could be seen in apartment buildings in Tirana, leaving them unsafe to live in. There are a lot of houses or apartments that were built in Albania before 1990, and most of them are unsafe. Are earthquakes getting stronger, and are there more earthquakes now than before? And what was so special about this last earthquake that hit Albania? Our ability to detect and measure earthquakes has improved greatly over the past few decades, and we have more seismograph stations that record earthquakes. Some scientists have claimed that giant earthquakes are getting stronger and more severe, but is this really the case? Larger earthquakes happen less frequently than smaller ones. In fact, there are 10 times as many magnitude 6 earthquakes than magnitude 7 or larger. Even more rare are bigger quakes in the magnitude 8.5 or higher. There have only been 17 big earthquakes since 1900, but since the 9.3 Indian Ocean earthquake, these have been more frequent. Earthquake activity is controlled by the motion of Earth's tectonic plates, driven by the heat generation from the decay of radioactive elements deep inside of our planet. For more earthquakes to happen, there would need to be an increase in the Earth's internal energy supply, a difficult thing to account for. Quakes can strike near the surface or deep within the Earth. A far larger jolt that is many miles deeper loses their energy as the waves travel to the surface. The epicenter of the recent earthquake that hit Albania was recorded only to be 6.2 miles deep, and quakes that strike near the surface tend to cause quite a bit more damage. In fact, shallow quakes are like a bomb, and the shaking is much more intense. Researchers have warned that there could be a big increase in the numbers of devastating earthquakes around the world, and especially in tropical regions, because of variations in the speed of the Earth's rotation could trigger intense seismic activity. These scientists did a research study and found a strong correlation between Earth's rotation and earthquake activity. So what's the Earth's rotation have to do with this? Geophysicists are able to measure the rotational speed of Earth extremely precisely, calculating slight variations on the order of milliseconds, and have been able to do this for decades. A team analyzed every earthquake since the 1900s and found that roughly every 32 years there were more worldwide earthquakes. They also found that every 25 to 30 years, the Earth's rotation begins to mysteriously slow down, which lasts around five years or so. Why does the Earth slow down? 
No one really knows the true answer to this, but one hypothesis involves the hot liquid metal layer of the planet that moves under the solid lower mantle. Scientists believe this outer core sometimes sticks to the mantle, causing a disruption in its flow. The good thing is, we are coming to the end of the five-year cycle where the Earth will begin rotating faster. Although we have all this cool technology that can help predict when an earthquake might strike, it is still one of the most difficult natural disasters to predict, and they can happen with little or no forewarning and be incredibly destructive. But there are some things that you can do to keep yourself safe if you are in an earthquake or if you live in a place that has many earthquakes. Before a quake happens, make sure you've stocked some non-perishable canned goods and bottled water. The most important thing is to know your surroundings and know how to quickly get to a safe place. Falling buildings are the number one threat to people in an earthquake. In fact, anything can fall on you, so find a safe place to take cover and don't get under anything that can be easily crushed. Wide open spaces are safe, but you can also hide under heavy tables or door archways. We hope you never have to go through a big earthquake, but if so, we wish you to be safe.